2005. Den i din studien har gjort kontroversiella fynd när det gäller våld i nära relationer. Man fann att kvinnor slår män lika ofta som män slår kvinnor. We ask questions like, you know, have you hit your partner? Have you thrown your partner across the room? Have you used a knife on your partner? And I thought, we're wasting our time asking these questions of the girls. But they said yes to them. And they said yes to them in the same numbers that the boys did. How many times in the last year have you been so angry that you attacked them with a weapon? The girls thought it was quite all right to hit their partner. They thought nobody would care. They thought their parents wouldn't disapprove. They thought the police would not come if anyone called them, and they thought they wouldn't injure anybody. Um, but the behaviors were the same. Women hit their men too. I, mean, I can admit that because I, I do it. I've done it. I'll spaz out and just do something mental and try and stab them and throw throw things up or smash the house up. When this finding first came out, it was flat rejected by most feminist criminologists. So we really had difficulty getting those papers published. Uh, uh, even after the papers were published, uh, we were never invited to present the findings at any conferences. Uh, it was one of the most difficult parts of the research to, to get it out there. Oh, well, it's ruffled feathers without doubt. I mean, there are people who just don't believe it. Uh, they think that men perpetrate the vast majority of the violence uh, and that women, if at all, are just defending themselves if they uh, engage in violent behaviour. That's not what our data say. For something lame as, I stood on the bed to punch him in the face and he grabbed me by the feet, spun me over and like punched me in the bum and I rang the cops on him. And he stood outside the door and like waited for the cops to turn up. Yeah, he got done for male assaults female and got sentenced. It's been shown over and over again that when a couple are fighting and fighting quite mutually and well matched, when the police come, the police assume that the woman is the victim and the man is the assailant. And I think it's a widespread assumption, but over and over and over, the Dunedin study members have told us, in many cases, the couple fights, usually they, they get drunk, they fight, they hit each other, they knock each other down, um, and, uh, and in their view, it's mutual. Tahe noa toru. Yeah. Feeding fine, $15. Oh, you've got to pay the middle $15, son. What about it? Den i din studiens fynd har upprepats i studier i USA, Storbritannien, Kanada, Israel och Sydkorea. Men även om kvinnor och män är lika benägna att slå varandra så finns det en betydelsefull skillnad. När män slår kvinnor så är det vanligare att kvinnorna hamnar på sjukhus. The other thing that I am uh, always struck by in this regard is that uh, whilst men can hit harder, uh, women, adult women, can hit very hard when the, uh, the victim is a child. 